Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 246. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 246 to 251. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to create a waterfall profit chart. What in the world is a waterfall profit chart? Anyway, well, let's look here. We have a little uh, income statement, total revenues, cost of goods sold. Oh, that's an expense. Gross profit. That's some profit. This is some uh, potential profit. But this is the uh, pluses. This is, in essence, a plus to our company before we have the rest of our expenses. So these are all like minuses. And finally, then we have our profit. So look over here. We have this first column here. That's the $1,000. And then look, this 295 this is red. That represents an expense, which, in essence, eats away at the profit. So then we get here, where a gross. Again, that's like a profit number. Uh, and then what happens? Expense number one zzz, eats away at it. And then this expense eats away, eats away, eats away, eats away until we're left with our profit. By the way, uh, I first learned this from the uh, Mr. Excel, uh, Learn Excel from Mr. Excel book, page t uh, 628. And he used that word, eat away. The expenses eat away at the potential profit. And that kind of is the con conceptual. Uh, part of this that makes it easy to understand. But how in the world do we create it in Excel? I'm going to click in this chart and I'm going to use my up arrow keys until I can see that, oh, there's some hidden or invisible columns here. So, in essence, we need to create two data series and um, add them to a stacked column chart and then make them invisible. Now, here's the trick. Notice that this column, this column, the, all these columns are holding up this little uh, top part, but there is no top part here. Well, the trick is we, um, the bottom part we made zero, and then this is the top part. Um, and how are we going to get these columns? Well, look right here. This 213, this actually is exactly the distance for uh, this bottom part here. And when we get to this 95 here, the, the height of this um, invisible column is the sum of the previous two. All right, I'm actually going to move this chart out of the way and then we'll create from scratch. All right, now I'm going to insert a column here, just like that. And I called it uh, expenses eating away at profits. Now, um, if we remember the chart, we needed the uh, bottom uh, column to be zero height for all of the positive numbers. So I'm going to click in this cell and then hold control and click there and click there. I've highlighted three areas that are not next to each other. Then I'll type zero. And to populate all the highlighted cells, I'll hit control enter. Now, our uh, goal right here for all of these cells, in fact, all of these. And watch this, the way I highlight this, I highlighted that one first, then I'm going to hold control, and I'm going to start here and scroll up. That means that's the active cell. That's the trick to populating a bunch of cells with formulas simultaneously, is be aware of where the active cell is. Now, I need to add the two previous. Notice when it, this cell is going to have that 213. So if I add these two previous, it'll work just fine. Alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. That didn't work. That's OK. I'm going to highlight uh, this little range here and then very carefully select that. So that formula, which is kind of hard to see, it's a little bit bigger right there. It's B10 to C10. Oh, it's really the one directly below and the one directly below and to my right. So now watch this. That's the active cell. And I have all these highlighted and that one. So when I Control Enter, just like that, it gets me what I want. And notice, because we had a 0 here, this formula is adding the, the 2 below. And it's adding a 0 and a 705. So that'll give us the uh, the the height of the bar underneath the red cost of goods sold. Similarly, down here, remember that first little red sliver of an expense? We needed the height below it to be 213. When we get to the 95, we need the height to be the sum of those two. If you click there and hit F2, you can see that is the sum of those two there. <clears throat> now we can create our chart. 
I'm simply going to highlight the whole chart like this. We have some labels that will be used on the axis because they're in the left column. And then we have a series here and a series here that will do stacked column. Now I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut um, Alt F1. That creates a column chart. If you're in 2003, that won't work. You'll have to use a chart wizard and then the first step uh, click on uh, just a, a column. Now I'm going to click right here and hit the delete key. And then I'm going to click somewhere on the chart and right click so, uh, select series chart type. And then I'll just select this column right here, stacked column. And there we have it. The basis for this, um, we have these um, blue ones. And actually, watch this. If you click there, um, let's, you can't really see it down there, but there's a zero there and a zero there and a zero there. Nevertheless, we have those highlighted. Let's format those with invisible. So control one, it's not really invisible, it's actually fill, no fill. So fill, no fill. Uh, control one works in earlier versions, but that dialog box looks different. Hey, look, that's looking pretty good right now. Uh, <coughs> now, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I must, uh, I have a little cold here. I like to um, create uh, like a uh, histogram with the bars actually touching because uh, we could draw a little line, but I'm going to right click, go to Format Data Series, and then Gap Width right here. This is in earlier versions. If I click down here and click Close, this gap, you have to click on the um, Options tab and then you get to the Gap Width. So there we have it. Hey, and here's another little trick. When you're um, clicking somewhere in a chart, if you click on a data series, see how they're all highlighted? Um, if you then um, click on one of them after a second or two, then you can highlight just the one and you can format it with a color. Watch this. I'm going to control one. This is, uh, I'm going to go to fill and change it to solid. How about green? Again, the dialog box looks totally different. In, earlier uh, versions. But watch this, in 2007, with this still open, then you can then click on the next uh, uh, column and then go to Fill and then Solid and Green. And then click right here and then Fill and then Solid and then there it is, Green. The other way you can do that is you can just use your paint bucket from the earlier versions of Format. So there we have our greens. Now we need to add some labels. And we need to uh, add some, uh, some actual uh, axis labels and a chart title. Let's go to Layout. I'm going to go to Chart Title. And I'm going to say Above. And I'm going to call this uh, just as soon as you open it, you can actually start ty typing Waterfall. Profit uh, chart, and then hit enter. You can see I can't type up here, and hit enter. Waterfall profit chart. Now we want to add some uh, data labels actually to show the amounts. I'm going to go to layout, data labels, and down to maybe right here inside end. Now look what it did. It put all of them, including the zeros down here. So I'm going to click on one of these lower ones, and you see how they're all highlighted. Just a moment ago, that was a problem because we wanted to do something to just one of them. But when you have all of them highlighted, it's great because you can do something to all of them, like delete. So delete. And then I'm going to click here. And I'm going to control. Oh, actually, we have to write uh, control one to get to format. I'm going to go to number. And I'm going to say currency. And I'm going to say decimals zero. Now, at this point, you have the basis of it, so you can do whatever you like uh, to it to make it look how you want. Uh, we do have, we actually don't need a, a label here because it's pretty self explanatory. Those are the names from the income statement. I'm going to click on the axis here and control one, and I'll do something like number, currency, same thing, zero decimal places. So there we have it. We have a uh, waterfall profit chart. Uh, the key was we had these, um, if I use my arrow keys, we had these uh, columns. We then had no fill. Uh, and we had to be pretty clever in the way we uh, thought about 
making a formula to do those. But the idea is each one of these is the sum of the previous two numbers. And the uh, uh, positive amounts or the profit uh, po or potential profits were zeros. All right, we'll see you next trick. Ooh, look at that. Went away. I better control Z, Z, Z. There we go. Luckily, there's undo, control Z. See you next trick.